hey guys welcome to another video how are you guys doing oh my god okay so i want to talk about the books i read in february you know the month of love I read quite a lot of romance. I read all physical books and four books on my Kindle. I'm in the middle of three books right now, but I know I cannot finish it in February and it's already March, so happy new month. I, I think I'm going to talk about them in the order of which I read them instead of distributing them to Kindle, then you understand how I used to do it. And my Kindle is not with me, so I, I'll have to hold something <laughs> when I'm talking. <laughs> so I guess I'll just hold this pop socket or so, I think. The first book I read is the bottom line by toby carter is going to be published today which is which is which is which is first of march so happy publication day to this book so this book is about stella and jameson is it jameson or jameson how do you guys pronounce it jameson yeah okay so they work in the same place but the way it started is very very um uh, cool because stella works with a grandfather in a funeral home where they used to sell coffins i guess and urns and all those things so jameson came there and <laughs> he was being rude to her grandfather so she hated him from that point and she's like who is this rude person why we talk to my grandfather like this blah 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 and then she was uh just giving him attitude and she didn't know that he was coming to her office that same day and it turns out to be much more important in the office so we get to see how they fall from enemies to lovers but why i really really like this book is because it talked about mental health and not just normal in a normal way like this time around it's actually jameson himself and you get to see why he needed that therapy and he also went through abuse but it's not the regular kind of abuse so it's actually really 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 deep i finished this reading this book in a day and i really really enjoyed it it went by like i gave it five stars <laughs> this book this book the next book i read is the patra and frankenstein by coco mellows see eh before i read this book i've always been like oh my god i can't wait to read this book oh i love it so much and bleh, this cover is so pretty you know it's artistic and you know it's minimalist and beautiful but guys when i read it I, it was a huge letdown for me it was a huge letdown for me it talks about cleo and frank their relationship um cleo married frank for visa but she claims that it's not because of visa so you just see their lives how their marriage goes like this and then comes down like this and then so you see how they actually later cope there's a lot of drug mentioning there's alcohol use there are different kinds of relationship in this book guys i had a very very hard time reading this book i had to use audiobook to read it because i was just bored i wanted to dnf but i could not dnf because this is our first body read me Ore and Kenny and last year we had some problems with our body reads and we did not finish some of the books So we already gave ourselves this we must start well. We must end well. We must finish the book So I was forced to to finish it, but I used audiobook. Thank God for audiobook But I still hated it anyway. There was this review I watched on YouTube where the guy was talking about the fact that oh it talks about how our lives how we uh, navigate our lives in our 20s and I'm like whose life is like this in their 20s i'm not trying to insult anyone but i feel like this was just so well i'm not used to this kind of life and i i put myself in her shoes and i'm like no 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 there were so many things that were happening in this book that i did not even i did not vibe with i didn't like any of the characters even the eleanor herself self is her name eleanor i still didn't like her i i felt like she was doing well you guys just if you want to know what it's about read it because because me i'm just going to spoil the book for you oh there's a good part about this book you know this saying the difference between your opinion and coffee is that i ask for coffee the difference between coffee and your opinion is that i ask for coffee yeah that's is inside this book <laughs> and also i was i was stabbing it when i started but i realized that i'm not going to love this book i was still annotating and writing in it but I was just not using my tabs anymore for it because I felt like I was wasting it. So yeah, I gave this a two stars. My friends gave it a 3.5, 3.5, I think. But for me, it was a two stars. It was a huge letdown. Sorry. Then the next book I read is another ARC. Uh, this one came out on February 14. It was it was on Valentine's Day. Um, but I, I got the copy before Valentine's Day and I already posted my review on Instagram. Uh, Shout out to my ex by Sandy Barker. So it's about Elle and Leo. But Poppy is also in this story and this book is actually different because normally you read the book in the male's POV and the female's POV but 
it's in health pov and poppy's pov poppy works in one organization it's called the happy ever after organization or something like that where they match make people or they bring together people that are meant to be together so that kind of vibe so we are seeing poppy's pov what just happened to the light i don't know leo and l were in a relationship and then all of a sudden leo just left and l could not get a hold of him anymore and everything just turned upside down because she really really loved him and it's now 10 years later and she's still hooked on him like she still thinks about him she still wants to be in a relationship with him she still loves him and she compares him with every other person she goes on a date with so l's sister now decided to go to poppy's agency to help them look for leo because she wants her sister to be happy and so that's how the whole thing started honestly i really enjoyed it it was very very slow in the beginning but it picked up in the middle and it was actually fun seeing oh my god there was a part where there was a lot of interruptions and revelations and in my head i'm playing this intense music i'm like dun 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 dun, dun. <laughs> because they just revealed something now and then the next minute before they finish revealing that one finish another thing has been revealed and i'm like oh my god what 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 yeah so yeah it was actually really fun i gave it a four stars oh, oh my god oh, oh my god guys this is the next book i read my room is a vampire i already told you guys about this book in my last uh last year because i read it on my kindle last year but my friend promise gave it to me yeah in february she, she sent me a lot of books and this was one of them and i read it again i was actually in a book club after cleopatra and fact so i needed something that would just give me you know a boost and i knew that i loved this book with all my heart so i read it again and i still love it oh my god i still love it so um it's talking about cassie greenberg and uh fitz what is the name oh my god when you say you love somebody and you just forget Frederick, okay, Frederick J. I've not even seen the name self. Jesus, it was just so. so Frederick is a vampire, and Cassie, guys, I don't need to tell you about this book anymore because I've already told you guys about it. So, Cassie is a uh, lady that she's struggling and she's trying to get a place to stay, and she sees an advert on Craigslist, and that is Frederick's house. So, she was wondering why the money was so low, like, it was so absurd 200 dollars for this apartment and the apartment is in a high class area so she decided to go and check it out and from that moment she she was already noticing but she said also <laughs> so oh my god i love this book so much. <laughs> it's just the little things that frederick was doing for her there was a part where he doesn't have pots because he does not cook he's a vampire duh so he went out to get pots for cassie and he bought the whole freaking set he bought everything he could think of and cassie does not really even cook like that <laughs> so it was actually really fun honestly guys this is one of my favorite books i will love this book till the end of time and 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 i realized that the book too which is <laughs> reginald's story oh my god reginald was the one that gave frederick a potion 100 years ago that made him sleep for a hundred years and that was why he needed cassie because he needed cassie to help him with the odyssey so apparently just 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 read this book okay five stars also of course of course <laughs> i love it so much ah, next book i read was for the fans by naila k when i started reading this book i did not know it was a queer 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 i don't know if i'm pronouncing it right but queer romance i thought it was going to be you know regular romance but it was actually very good you know when you're reading about two people and you are saying oh and you're swooning you that you're reading you're the one swooning that's what's happening that's what happened to me i was just like oh oh my god oh did you just do that so it talks about um avril avril jesus what's wrong with me and names today avril and chiron so the two of them are stepbrothers so it's forbidden romance and they hate each other not really like because <laughs> in my own opinion i feel like chiron liked area avial from the beginning but he just didn't want to and he doesn't also want to accept his sexuality so the book is just talking about how they move from enemies to lovers and also the tiny tiny things that happened some things that happened trauma bonding yeah guys it was really, really fun i gave it 4.5 stars honestly i never really thought that i would love it 
as much as I did, but I did. And this book is freaking long. That's why I gave it a 4.5 stars. Oh my god, and the spice. The spice was spicy. Ha! Guys, you know you are reading about two guys doing the do, but you are feeling it. Ah! I was like, what is happening? <laughs> oh yeah. Then I read When in Rome. People always say this When in Rome is a cozy romance. Like you just read it and have fun. Yeah, that's that's what happened. It was a cozy romance. I really enjoyed it. It talks about Noah and Amelia. Amelia is a pop star. She's a very, very popular pop star. But she just wanted to take some time off. So she landed in Rome. I think it's Rome, Kentucky or something. That's where <clears throat> Noah is. And Noah is trying to live his life. And she came and crashed in his compound. So he had to help her out. Noah doesn't want to have anything to do with Amelia because he has had a very, very rough past. So you get to see how Amelia navigates all these things. There was also some other things that were in the book that was really, really nice. Like the fact that she was not full of herself. I really like that. I gave it a 4.5 star because I felt like it was very predictable. It's almost the same as Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez. Honestly, because it's the same thing landed there then one person want to go for yeah that kind of vibe but the found family in it i love it so much ah uh, um noah's sisters oh my god and that's why i'm going to read practice makes perfect soon i think you should read it just to relax as a palette cleanser is really really good oh what about when amelia tried to make pancakes god i was just kicking and cacaing i was laughing because the pancake was horrible the next book i read is yellow face by rf kuang guys finally i read this book and i love it so much so it talks about juni and athena basically mainly juni because athena died in the beginning <laughs> and the way she died was crazy and juni witnessed her death so juni stole a manuscript they are writers but athena is much more successful than juni because athena just has this you know golden lock on her head that makes her just blow up all the time it happens it happens so Junie was coming from a jealous point of view but at the same time i i found myself rooting for Junie at one point but i still don't like Junie. i still don't because why would you do that so Junie stole athena's work and she kind of changed it did everything and did everything and she now published it under her name but under a new name so people were starting to attack her but she still blew up and people were like she stole athena's work but then again there was no proof so uh, according to the book you just see the way juni was navigating the old publishing industry oh my god the way um rf kwang actually tells us about the publishing industry the things that they go through the processes the editing the the old Bala Blue, everything. It's actually really, really good. Really, really good. And also the fact that social media actually plays a very, very huge role and it can make or break a particular author. I think it can actually make or break anyone, to be quite honest. But then the reviews, how they, how the authors take the reviews, even within the publishing industry, within the writing community, I say, I say writing community, author's community, you, you get to see how they are how proud some people can be how people will love you because you're popular yeah of course that's how life is generally but yeah this book is actually very very good honestly i learned a lot i actually learned a lot but i can i still can't get over the way athena died jesus christ anyway this was a five star it was a very very good read and very very fast paced i also body read this with my friends Ore and kenny and i'm glad we redeemed cleopatra and frankie's time because oh <laughs> Guys, the last book I read. Oh my god. Why I my list of four? This is my first time reading from this author. And it let me just tell you, let me just get it out of the way. It was five stars. Yes, I said it was five stars. Promise gave me this as a present. She gave me the book one and the book two. I got the book three myself. And I, if you see how I'm itching to start the book two already let's talk about stevie and zanders oh my god so zanders is an hockey player and stevie was the flight attendant and they are not supposed to date because they work together it's the rules forbidden ish but ah the chemistry <laughs> so so well stevie doesn't want to date anybody that is a sport that is in the sports environment anymore because of she had a very bad experience with her ex and then she's also struggling with her body posit 
will I say body positivity? She's also insecure about her body, and you get to see why. Xander's also has gone through therapy, and he has this bad boy reputation. But is there's more to him? Okay, there's more to him. I love Xander's. God, God, and also I didn't even know that. Stevie is a black lady and she's chubby. You know, normally we're always reading about people that are, you know, flat stomach and all. But she, Stevie is chubby. She has a full power and all those things. And I, um, me picturing it, I'm like, oh my God, this girl will be so freaking pe beautiful. <laughs> I love it so much, guys. Five stars. One of my favorite books ever. I can't wait to get to the book too. The book too is talking about Ryan and that's Stevie's brother. <laughs> and he's an NBA player. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much for watching. I really, really enjoyed this. I'll see you guys in my next video. Do you see? Ah, okay. The camera is dead again. Oh my god, you know, I actually forgot what it's about. <laughs> Let me just read through a little bit. <laughs> Give me a minute. Okay, so I read it. <laughs>